What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, I'd like to invite you all to join our free and public Discord server, the Pitchfork Academy. It's a great place to connect with like-minded people, share some of your work, and maybe get some help. If you'd like to jump on board, the invite link is in the description and in the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, this Fortnite's assets are freely available until December 2nd at 9.59 Eastern Time. And this go around, we have the Matte Painting Skybox Pack, Chaotic Skies by Valerion, Lake Town by Erhan Yilmaz, and the Futuristic Cyber Warrior by Even Store. So let's jump on in and take a look at the Chaotic Skies Skybox Pack by Valerion. It says here in the technical details that it features six sky images, all in 4K, and it's blueprint-based flow map animation system, which means, guys, that these sky cubes are just one texture and they use a flow map, which sort of makes it move around and flow like so and straight off the bat guys i think this is absolutely fantastic it looks really really good it doesn't really matter which skybox you choose and what angle you look at it from it all looks very very good but one thing i did notice is that i got this kind of trailing behind manny and I also noticed that this was massively improved by going into the post-process volume and just overriding the global illumination, changing it to screen space as opposed to lumen. So that could be a lumen issue. And if you were to use this asset pack in a project with lumen, you might have to find some way of improving that kind of trailing issue. And the other thing I noticed is that while I do think these skyboxes look really good at the speed they're at, you can actually just crack open the material and change the speed parameter to slow them down quite a bit, which in my opinion makes it look a lot better and just a little bit less turbulent and disorientating. And probably the only other thing that I'd mention is that if you were to use these in your game, for example, it might limit what other skyboxes you can use because obviously you'd want a consistent style throughout your game. But with all that being said, I think this is great. I'm going to be giving it five stars on Fab and absolutely picking this up while it's free. And next up, guys, we have Lake Town by Erhan Yilmaz. It says here in the technical details that there are 45 meshes and five blueprints, 27 materials and material instances with 69 textures that are 4K, automatically generated collisions and LODs. And I do think everything here looks pretty good. And even if you weren't going to use this same sort of level design as in the demonstration level, there's still a few different types of meshes here that you may want to make use of in some other setting. You can even drop these buildings down if you didn't want them on poles. But my only gripe with these buildings is I would have liked to have seen a little bit more modularity because these buildings are just, you know, one big static mesh. And I'd also point out that if you're going to use these assets in a game, you might have some optimization to do, at least just, you know, lowering the texture sizes on some of these textures because they wouldn't obviously all need to be 4K. And like I said, you wouldn't have to be using them as is. Uh, you know, you might just pick and choose a few of these assets to use in your project. Anyway, I'm going to be giving this one five stars on Fab. And I recommend if you're interested in any of these assets, you pick it up while well, it's free. And lastly, guys, we have the Futuristic Cyber Warrior by Even Store. And it says here that he is rigged to the epic skeleton with IK bones included. And he's animated and comes with 43 animations, some in place and some using root motion. 
He also comes with 19 materials and material instances using 51 textures from 2K up to 4K. And the vertex count of the character is 47,500. So not too crazy. This guy should be pretty performant. But as with any character assets, obviously your character design needs for any given project would be very specific. And this guy has got a lot going on to say the very least. And while I do think the details are a little bit over the top, there is a little bit of modularity here. So you don't have to use all of it. But I would also point out that while some of the animations are pretty nice, uh, some of them also leave a little bit to be desired. But like I said, as always with these character assets, probably the biggest issue is that your stylistic needs and your character design will be very specific for any given project. And at least for me personally, it's hard to imagine, you know, a sort of setting that this guy would fit into without you having to like change the design, you know, of your environment or your other characters so that it all meshes nicely. But those are just stylistic choices and I wouldn't really mark an asset pack down for stylistic choices such as these. So I'm going to give this one five stars on Fab and if you could use Futuristic Cyber Warrior by Even Store, I recommend you pick it up while it's free from Fab. And that's going to be about it from me for this one, guys. I do apologize for this episode of Free From Fab being a little bit late. The reason being, I have just moved house and I had to sort of contend with my ISP to get my internet connection up and running. And as soon as I got it up and running, I recorded this video for you guys. And as per usual, if this one has been of any help or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.